Alright guys, we do have yet another patch for the Eva Cardi. Wow, CIG have really been putting out those patches. I think that's four in a row, three in a row now. So, uh, at the end of the day guys, obviously it is D patch. It is under Eva Cardi. It doesn't bother us, we haven't signed it. Database reset, yes servers is US only. Long term persistence enabled, pledge copied enabled. Starting USC is just listed as yes. Whatever that means. So, testing focus, hull, salvage, scraping, so hull scraping from salvage, uh, platform assault on Orison, security post Kraya reactivation, courier missions delivery, uh, sandbox prison activities, sand caves, Daymark crash site, Stanton racetrack, Grey Cat racetrack, and new rivers. Known issues, cargo selling of commodities is not in a complete state for testing just yet. Many locations around the Stanton will not be able to detect the ship or the terminal when buying or selling. Uh, customizer, character customizer, stuck on saving character still, so that's still there. Uh, pets, core tech, changes not properly stored, characters are not properly stored after logout. Uh, Multi-vehicle, VMA, uh, unable to customize any ship with the vehicle loadout manager. L load so load location, more than one player can load into a hab at the same time. Transit, elevators and trams are jittery still. Derelicts, missing salvage wrecks. UI vehicle is, it's, it is possible for the vehicle to vanish for the player during flight and combat. So the vehicle HUD, sorry. Uh, stand interactions, terminals are not responsive and sometimes are not resetting. Performance, third person camera, massive stutter when using third person view. Uh, Vulture, pictures down in atmosphere when locking pitch yaw. Corsair, the Corsair does not respond to either expand, configure, or retract. Orison missions content, a hostile AI is stuck at HMRA and also the one at BWDG. Infantry loot boxes will disappear, approach, and multiple locations for... Medical, uh, unable to heal injuries in bed bed. So really not a lot's changed since yesterday's. But they have added new features. So locations, stay at Stanton racetrack locations. Added three new racetracks into Stan. These two tracks will take place on epic racing journeys around Grimhex. Miner's Lament, an entrepreneur icebreaker and the Devil's Scrap. The Skyscraper uh, at Area 18 Marker. So yeah, three new tracks. Uh, gameplay, missions, time trials, race tier zero. Racing time trials have finally come to the PU. Players will be able to test their skills versus set timers on the newly added racetracks around the landmarks in the PU. Earning rewards based on performance and even unlocking more tracks as they progress. Cool. Um, players can pick up their first race mission from the outskirts of Lawville and with enough racing prowess, get reputation to move on to the rest of the time trials around Staten. This is tier zero implementation. It's focused on ground vehicle races, wheeled and grav lift, and ships, and includes reputation progress tracking. Note for the PTU, currently the completing the Lawville race time trial, the reputation will unlock the rest of the race at once. This is intended to help them during the PTU testing. But obviously when it goes live, that will change. Feature updates, location, racetrack and time, uh, time trial mission pass, pulse pass. Gameplay, increase the amount of fresh salvageable directs spawned in asteroid belts. Makes sense because, you know, asteroids. Cortec, further Gen 12 performance rendering passes. Bug fixes, they, so Star Citizen does not finish launching or terminate after the ETC splash screen causing ghost clients has been fixed. Disconnection errors. Clients may not have its G, uh, sorry, its PU game sessions destroyed um, after a DGS crash, which has also been fixed. Uh, crash recovery uh, stores a ship in unknown state requiring a claim has been fixed. Thank God. Hull scraping. Salvageable material is missing from multiple locations, so that's been fixed. Uh, crash services does not offer the option to refuel, repair, restock has been fixed. Thank God. 
Ship engine power management. Offline engine results in abnormal braking force. That's been fixed. Okay. So now you'll glide, presumably. Uh, well, not so much glide, it fall to the ground like a brick. But, you know, yeah. Uh, fixed locations. Area 18 hospital. The floor outside the entrance is missing collision. Has been fixed. Uh, rest uh, r and stations. Air shield assets not covering hangar entryways properly. Has been fixed. Crusher rehabilitation facility. Actor force respawning dying inside the prison. Will respawn the character without any loadout. Has been fixed. Character inventory. Player is spawning at the med bed with default loadout after dying. It's been fixed. Character locations. Players will spawn without a body when loading into the PU from a client crash. Has been fixed. They have fixed the FPS weapons multi-tool. Will now, uh, it used to, uh, so that it would regularly fail. Noisy. Uh, the multi-tool will regularly fail to properly holster. It's been fixed. The UI, most inventory actions can be completed once per opening of the inventory screen. That's been fixed. Uh, invalid entry section on quick transaction buttons press has been fixed. Make it so the player cannot attempt to buy more commodities than they have money for has been fixed. Um, vehicles fly in atmosphere. I presume when they're saying that, they're saying that they've fixed it so that you can't buy more than you have money for. Vehicles flying in atmosphere. The vulture will constantly input a downward pitch. That has been fixed. Thank God. Drake cutter. Uh, cruise speed. Is max speed is at 1,600 meters per second. Has been fixed. The 890 jump ship feature. Graphics. Numerous panels and doors throughout the 890 uh, visible areas have been fixed. Security work assessment. Wrong description for location has been fixed. Uh, cargo commodity UI different appear uh, price appearance when moving the sidebar or manually inputting the same SCU amount of cargo it's been fixed uh, cargo commodity selling stolen goods at no questions asked terminal will result in failure now that has been fixed so you can do that the damage maps damage maps on mineables were not working that's been fixed Mining modules are now able to be dropped, unable to be picked up, so they can be fixed. They can be picked up and dropped now. Mining gadgets. Uh, mining gadgets button is difficult to read. That has been fixed. Volatile cargo not doing enough damage on explosion. Uh -huh. That has been fixed. Bummer. Trespassing message on valid security mission at SPK has been fixed. Investigation mission should no longer spawn the same location at the same time has been fixed and the law system the jurisdiction uh, jurisdiction name on the security terminal can get cut off that has been fixed they fixed 12 client crashes five server crashes a deadlock a backend server crash arena commander client crash and two GPU crashes god damn they're really hammering this out well done. Um, guys, obviously at the end of the day, I would still expect this to probably go to wider PTU by the end of next weekend or next week. So I'd say probably Friday, Saturday, next weekend, it'll probably go to wider PTU. Um, and if that's the case, I would say you probably will see this. It might get an eighth. It maybe get an eighth for the delivery. I think they're aiming for the, around the 8th to 10th for the delivery. <sighs> maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah. I don't know. It, it's kind of a mixed bag. If they rush it out the door, then and Pez is not ready, that can cause problems. But, if they do rush it out the door, then they're more likely to fix those errors before they go on holidays, because they've got stuff on. And they're not running a skeleton crew. So it's it's kind of a mixed bag. Personally, I'd like them... Look, to be honest, I'd like them to leave it into the PTU over the holidays. Um, and just keep running 317.4 on the PU. And then the Evocati... Oh, sorry, the, the 318 on the PTU. But we'll see. Uh, guys, let us know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. There will be a stream tonight. There will be a video going up. 
we are going to be talking everything Galaxy. The good, the bad, the ugly, whether you should buy it, whether you shouldn't buy it, the price. We are going to fully break this thing down. And this will probably be one of the last videos we make about the Galaxy. Except for maybe, I brought the Galaxy and here's the tour. Um, <laughs> we know I'm going to buy it, right? Um, but yeah, um, we're also going to go through and watch a few other videos from other creators who also went through and have raised some very good points about whether you should buy it or not. So, guys, tune in for the live stream. I'm going to try and get all the guys, so I'm trying to get John, Fez, and Hitman all in at the same time. Um, it will be in approximately 2.30 my time, which doesn't mean a lot because you're mostly American. So it, it's going to be roughly at the turn of the... Uh, of the event. I think the event changes at my 2 o'clock. So I'm hoping to be home at 2, start the stream at 2.30. Um, we might actually go live for it on YouTube. So, yeah. Apart from that, guys, let us know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, guys, the video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I will see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.